Hi there Capricorns, thanks so much for tuning in. We're having a little sneak peek time at your horoscope for this year. I'm going to be doing a much more extended written feature for 2015. But right now I'm Astro Girl and we're going to have a look-see at what's happening for you. The ruler of your horoscope, Saturn, will be in your spiritual 12th house for most of this year. And for the next two years, it, moves into, it moved into Sagittarius last year. And dis, despite the fact that it's going to be retrograding in Scorpio, you are going to have most of the year with it in your spirituality zone. Thus, you are in an intensely spiritual period of your life, Capricorns. There is a lot of behind the scenes interior growth happening. You are more open to spiritual teachings. This is unusual for you as you are basically a down to earth rational type of person. So it's going to be interesting to watch what happens with Capricorns and you may find that you turn to something or someone, that you become softer, that you become much more pliable that you realize that everything is not black and white. There's a lot of gray areas in life. As an earth sign, you constantly, you know, feel that that's the way it is, that that's black or white, yes or no. And with Saturn in your 12th house, I think you're going to be looking at it a lot more openly and be open to new things and new people in your life. Ever since Neptune moved into your third house of communication, your taste in reading has also become much more spiritualized. Spiritual books appeal to you. Poetry and other inspired writings also appeal to you. The technological and online world has been important for the past few years. It will still be important this year, but not as much. Your interests are shifting from gadgets and computers to maybe books and you know learning and listening and going to classes and once again becoming more spiritually in tune if you feel like you've become way too materialistic way too worried about money and way too uh, Gordon Gecko from Wall Street you know greed is good this is a time for you to scale back on that because that is not something that you want to move ahead with. You want to move away from that. And the way of moving away from it is turning inwards, meditation, yoga, hanging out with people who don't have anything, who are happy that way, happier than you may be. They have nothing to sort of show for their life. Maybe they live in an RV van and they surf or, you know, they make enough money to get by but they're happy and you need to find out the secret of that as do we all it's not just Capricorns as do we all and find out you know getting back to basics a little bit maybe maybe downsizing your life this year you know if you live in like a three-bedroom um, flat and there is one of you and you, you know you're paying a small fortune for everything Maybe you could downsize. Just random thoughts I'm throwing out there at you about what's happening for you this year and how you're going to handle it. Because to say Capricorn and spiritual, it's not doesn't norm, you know it's not something that that flows. If it was Pisces or a Libra, definitely because both those signs are very interested in you know the afterlife and the occult and physical and mental stimulation and spirituality. Capricorns, as we said, you're a bit more down to earth and rooted in black and white. And this is a year for you to take a walk on the colored side, shall we say. Pluto has been in your sign for quite some time and remains there. This is a cosmic detox of the body and image of your self-definition has been going on. You are giving birth a long process to the person that you want to be. And this process often involves dramatic kinds of events, near-death experiences of you or a loved one, encounters with death. Many of you had cosmetic kinds of surgery recently, and you may even have some more, whether or not you had a car accident, which is a near-death experience if it's bad enough and you needed to have 
plastic surgery. You know, it doesn't have to be that you've run out and got your nose done or your boobs done. I'm, I'm not sort of going there. And, you know, that's very draining and very traumatic and once again will lead you back to a more spiritual path to try and heal yourself. Uranus has been in your fourth house of home and family for some time and it stays there. This has been much instability in your family. Family members seem prone to extreme mood swings. There have probably been multiple moves or renovations over the last couple of years with you and your family and this is going to continue. Jupiter, the largest planet in the zodiac, in your eighth house of transformation and regeneration since July 2014, moves out of that part of your chart August 11, moving into Virgo, which of course is your fellow Earth sign, bringing foreign travel and overall prosperity to you. This is a very nice aspect for college level students and also for those applying to colleges will hear good news. And for those of you who are, you know, out of the college age, but looking at going back to school to study something that they're interested in, it's a perfect idea for this year. Have a great time. Um, I'm going to be writing a big feature about 2015 with more dates, etc. This is just an overall little uh, sneak peek. Hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you soon.